Hi, welcome to the Farmer's Voice. Today we're at Geraldine High School. They've got an amazing agricultural program here. They've been really successful in the teen ag competitions around the country and we're going to take a look at what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. We've been going for about 10 years now and probably between two and 300 students have come through. We're funded for 20 places so it's a limited number that can get in each year. Maybe half are farming students and then half would be urban lifestyle type students. Oh the Young Farmer competition is perfect. So we run the AMP shows which is fantastic and then also the students all compete in teen ag. Sarah is a massive help. I mean, she has the fundraising and getting her involved. She overtime is insane. Our agrarian courses are weekends, and we do tailing days, up for stations. Why do you think she puts so much effort into young people in agriculture? Passion. Just a lot of passion towards getting more people into the agricultural industry. The primary industry is so exciting, it's constantly evolving, more and more jobs, uh, jobs probably that don't exist right now will be where these students end up in 5-10 years time. Uh, best paying jobs as well, if you're willing to put a bit of hard work in for a couple of years then you're home and hose for the rest of your life. So some of us want to go on to farm, some of us want to go to university, so generally the ones that want to go more on farm or more into the agricultural sector carry on to level two and do a day on place in the week, but some of the kids who have maybe decided that this isn't for them will go and do other things. Yeah. And this course has shown us a lot of different opportunities within the agriculture yeah. and you don't necessarily have to be a farmer, you can do so many other things within each sector, yeah. lots of opportunities. You can't tell me these kids don't just get under your skin a little bit. Some of them take a little bit of Sarah Foley Smith with them when they leave. It's a team effort uh, and that's the beauty of the whole course is that we can't work if we're not a team. So everyone looks after each other. Everyone becomes mentors for the years below. And you're not just a teacher, you're also a, a successful farmer in your own right. Your passion for agriculture is what makes you turn up for work here? Oh absolutely. And uh, have been able to run a course where we can be the best I think is motivation. I'm quite competitive so it's good we can enter competitions but it's so nice that we can give back to the community and get a really good reputation. I think that's probably more a driving factor is the success of all of us um, in, in the course here. Yeah.